Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society, and welcome to my Just Transition. I'm going to just transition from a chair in the middle of a field to a brand new house. I'm going to make the new house with materials that haven't been invented yet or are not market ready. I'm not going to use the old kind of workers like carpenters and tradespeople. You know, I'm going to use a new generation of green skilled workers to build my new house around my new chair. Now, I just wanted to point out, I have a number of novel innovations here, very important ones. There's a little loop for my keychain. There's a place here in my chair for my cell phone. And of course, a spot for my cup. And that's the kind of just transition that the Government of Canada is proposing for you. They pretty much have a chair in the middle of an empty field, and they're trying to call it a house. Now, the problem with this just transition is that it will create climate injustice for everyone. And why? Because many of the proposed solutions are not effective. For instance, people claim that, oh, the Canadian power grid is very clean compared to others in the world. That's true. Less than 1%. And yet, we're being told that in this just transition, wind and solar and other renewables will largely take over from oil, natural gas and coal, which effectively powers at least 80% of society today. These are unrealistic dreams, unrealistic goals. There's no cost-benefit analysis applied to them. So we've done a short report called Climate Injustice for All, something that I think you should have a look at and see where the government is leading you. It's leading you down a path where green crony capitalists, green crony climate capitalists, will be living off subsidies from you, and you'll be living in a sleeping bag on the street. And while you're at it, also have a look at our earlier report called Forget the Dream House. This report was done by Robert Lyman, and this is about the implications of net zero building standards on home ownership. Effectively, as the title says, forget the dream house. These climate policies are leading us down a path of destruction in Canada. We've got to speak up, we've got to demand full cost-benefit analysis, and we've got to stop the influence of foreign-funded climate activists who are ruining our economy. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling. <laughs>